I figure this day Harvey's in, Bruce talking to him won't really help. You know? Don't this, screw this no, up, that's what I, think. I don't know if that was the right thing to do. Why did I do that? Wait, meeting with me, you mean? I just can't... I just can't second-guess myself. Bit of a strange place to hang out, isn't it, Dent? Batman? Oh, you scared the hell out of me. Well, it's good to see you. <laughs> I was just telling someone how much I'd love to get you on my payroll. Mm -hmm. You've gone too far. Leave Wayne alone. Wayne? What, is this about the whole seizing his assets thing? You're not gonna break my legs, are you? <laughs> or maybe you're just gonna make threats. Words out that you don't get violent unless you have to. Yeah. No, not my style. Well, I guess I should count my blessings then. I'll admit, I'm surprised to see you helping Wayne. Seems kinda small potatoes for you. Maybe you haven't seen the news, but he hasn't been the most upright citizen lately. Why should I do anything to help him? Well, it's not even you to help him. You're just actively harming him. You're losing your mind, and everyone can see it, Dent. You want to save me? I protect everyone. So it seems. I guess I do owe you one. Yeah, you dang right you do. Wayne is just another curveball this stupid city threw my way. Him and his goons, the Waynes, the children of Arkham. I'm finally starting to understand, to see just how sick Gotham really is. It's so sick, man. To save Gotham, I need to do some bad before it gets better. Um, what do you mean by that? Exactly. Go. What are you doing? Do it. Do what are you? What did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. Man, we lost a bunch of our own guys. The apartment next door. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Oh man, that blast was way bigger than you said. We must have a taken whole city out a block. whole city block with it. We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. Hmm. That's what a leader does. I feel like I should thank you. Seeing as you did give Gordon that tip. Turn yourself in now. The police will never let you get away with this. There has been some conflict with the police, that's true. Like Gordon. Oh, he really wasn't happy when I went over his head to get the location of the drug stockpile. But I had him taken care of. How so? <laughs> What did you mayors, say about Gordon? I swear mayors don't have these this kind of power. Where is he? No, hang on, Batman, hang on. I had to make an example of him. To get people to respect. Gordon is on Gotham's side, Harvey. He's fighting for this city too. Batman, I'm sorry. It's like I told you. I the, the bad for some good. Prime Alley. I took him to Crime Alley. Well, this has been weird. Do mayors have that much power? Together. <laughs> Let's take a ride, gentlemen. Like, I guess for all the complaining that I do about, like, do they have this much power this? with this really... It's like, you're getting in the way Gotham is the one city. of the most corrupt Gents places ever. No, That's just this is what it is. Help. The children of Arkham are out of control, and no one, no one is... Batman. Hi. I mean, hi. What a mess. Thank you, Save Batman. Save the thanks. And explain to me why I just watched half a city block go up in flames. Dent took out the warehouse with the drugs. The location that I gave to you. Are you accusing me of something, Batman? Just say it. Come on. Let's hear it. I only told you. Dent knows. So someone you talked to told him. You know we're on the same team here. So stop leaning on me and let's figure out what happened. Tell me what you know. 
By the time I got back to the precinct, Dent already had the information. He strong-armed it out of Commissioner Grogan. Yeah. I didn't even have time to scratch my ass before I got hauled out here. Dent's position makes him dangerous. Apparently he's very dangerous. And he has power. Dent thinks that what he's doing is best for Gotham. Execution and martial law. I know. There's no saving him this time, Batman. There's no world in which he manages to set this right. I think that's what he believes. I you know? don't believe that. Everyone can be saved. You said it yourself. He's trying to help Gotham. He's just lost. He's a little more than lost. He's off the rails. Yeah, no, I agree. You have to see that. But I think that Batman, with his no killing policy, at least in some work to do. sources. Everything is such a goddamn mess. But. We gotta start somewhere. You know your officers, Jim. Take the people you trust and start hobbling Dent's army. Get your precinct back. You make it sound easy. No, it won't be. But if anyone can do it, it's you. You're trusted. <sighs> yeah. I am I pretty trusted. First, <laughs> We will get through this, Jim. I'm glad we're on the same side. I mean, you pretty much always want to be on Batman's side with just about anything, I'd say, you know? He is Batman. Lucius, what's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing the feedback loop. How is he doing it? Somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God. It's like a digital battering ram. No idea how that works, but go on. Up, he gets smashed through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. Any he minute? What? to the Bat computer. <sighs> Hang on, Lucius. It's Alfred. I'm patching him in. Al, Lucius figured out how Penguin's cracking my security. He has a device that... I'm afraid we have another problem to deal with. What would that be? Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? Oh. Oh! Whoa! Quick time. Hi. Sir, are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. That's not good. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. Ah, oh, shoot. We gotta save Alfie! I'm going home. Understood. See you soon. We gotta save Alfie. It's Alfie, you know? Can't leave him. Not one step further. Oh, look at him being brave. Oh, this is why we now. have to save him. Put the rifle down. I'm not gonna hurt you. Somehow, I don't believe you. <laughs> Back away, please, all of you. Jesus, Al, it's me. Harvey. No, not the Harvey I know. The Harvey I know would never have massacred innocent civilians. He isn't a murderer. What murderer? Um. The general sends his troops to kill the enemy. All right, sure. No one calls it murder. They call it war. And I Firewall breach. Gray. The children of our. <sighs> Penguin is still hacking my tech. I guess I'll be doing this the old fashioned way. Yep. Ah! Oh! Alfred did that! That was cool! You again! I thought we talked about this. The time for talking is over. And so is your reign of terror. So, how does this end? I well, we're not at the ending yet. House, and you want to stop me. <laughs> I can't imagine this is going to go well for either of us. You're going to turn yourself into the authorities. <laughs> I am the authority. Show's Unfortunately. over, Dent. Time to go home. You're right. Go home, Batman. I've got an estate to level. 
Now get out of here before I have you booked for obstruction of justice. You really stand think Batman way. cares about you that? Stand in the way of the law. E. You. Working very hard to do stuff. You're gonna need more than this, Harvey. I know. Can we stop Harvey first? He seems like seems like a bit of a priority. You know what those are? Explosive slugs. Yeah. But you don't have any of those in that little belt of yours. Okay. It's a good thing his tracking sucks. For the next thing. Yeah, just try and hide, Batman. Let's see how that works out for you. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is it. This is it. Shift something, right? Ow, oh, that hurt. That's mine. Use your head, Harvey. Killing me won't make you a hero. He came back. This old man needs to die. Uh oh. Why did you only have two shots loaded in that? Your head? Or your heart. What did that mean? What's that sound? What the? Bats! So that's how they're having it happen in this. E. E. Ow. Down. Dead Batman. Without me, Gotham is doomed. Who will stop Lady Arkham? The Penguin. The children of Arkham. As long as I'm around, Gotham will be fine. They don't need someone like you. No. I'm important. I'm. I'm important. Is that really your big insecurity here? Thank God he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I still need to find Lady Arkham before it's too late. Well, I can take care of all this. Just need to figure out what to do with him. All the innocent lives he's responsible for. He should be locked up in Blackgate Prison. But that broken mind of his will probably only get worse in there. Dan is too dangerous and too damaged to be kept in some holding cell at Blackgate. You have to get him into Arkham. They might actually be able to help him in there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, you stay we safe. Need to, there, we need right? to clean up, though, all the you corruption. Too, like here in Arkham, it's bloody everywhere, you know? And it won't, like, people won't get better there with all the corrupt, like, staff. Like, ideally, it would be the better place for Harvey, but in its current, like, just how it is Al, currently, I don't think so. Al, what's Bruce, wrong? The computer. It's Penguin. We need to cut the hard line now. Bruce, all of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down. All right.
we could start it up again another time. But yeah, we're gonna have to keep doing things the old-fashioned way. Episode 4, Guardian of Gotham. That's right. Guardian of Gotham. She's got a little cat. He's meowing. He's Buttercup. I've shown you a picture of her before. Did you promise Joker a favor? You and 52.7% of players denied Joker a favor. Okay, so the silence counted as denying. Cool. Well, he still seemed happy, so that's, that's fine. Did you go along with Joker's plan? You and 31.7% of players chose to stop. That means, like, 68% of people actually thought making a phone call in the middle of all that was the best decision? That surprises me. Because I did not I did not see much good in that. You know, I just didn't. Uh, you and 47.5% of players ran the barricade at Harvey's security checkpoint. So again, I was... Actually, hold on. Was I in the minority? No. Okay, I was in the minority two or three times so far. Uh, barely, but yeah, most people chose to actually pay the dude off. I'm not going to buy into that corruption. Did you deal with Harvey as Bruce or Batman? You and 59% of players chose to intimidate Harvey as Batman instead of risking his wrath as Bruce. Did you stop Harvey or Oswald? You and 42% of players chose to stop Harvey from destroying your home and risk Oswald taking away your tech. Yeah, you gotta save Alfred, man. You know, it's that is where the heart is. Like, who would, what would Bruce or Batman be without Alfred? Like, I wasn't worried about the estate. I was just worried about our buddy. All right, so there it is. Yeah. Five, four out of five times we were in the majority here. I find that interesting. All right, continue. Follow Batman's adventures wherever comics or books are sold. Okay. Wait until we get on the main menu again. Yes, we're back on the main menu. Um, so let's talk about this. So yes, next time is going to be chapter five or episode five, which to my knowledge is the final episode. Most Telltale games are five episodes long. Apparently at least one of them, I think it's Minecraft, I don't remember, is longer. But um, from my knowledge, most of them are five episodes, and I believe this is going to be the last episode, too. I mean, it definitely seems like we're building up to that uh, point of climax, so uh, yeah, that's what I am expecting. And I also think that um, that's coming out Tuesday, so by the time, actually by the time this particular video comes up, um, it'll already be, the fifth episode will already be out, but by the time I'm recording this, um, it's, it's not yet. Uh, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, so about this episode in particular, I do question a lot of the things that Harvey Dent was able to do as mayor. Is he even, like, effectively the mayor yet? I guess? I mean, Hill's dead, so I guess they just kind of bumped him up real quick to actually be in that mayoral position where he could actually do stuff. But being able to force, like, just allow everyone to search anyone without a warrant or anything, I don't... To my knowledge, mayors can't do that. Like, I don't know a lot of stuff that was a thing, so to my knowledge, they couldn't do that, but I don't know. Uh, to my knowledge, a mayor definitely couldn't orchestrate bombing a factory. Like, I'm pretty sure that one is definitely not something mayors can do. Uh, but I don't know, I guess. And then, uh, um, I felt like there was a third thing. Oh yeah, seizing Wayne Estate. Duh, the big thing. Yeah, seizing Wayne Estate. I don't think that he could just... Is that like, yeah, I'm gonna just, like, forcibly remove this dude and then, like, destroy his mansion. Like, I don't think a mayor has that kind of power. If I'm wrong, then I am wrong. But if I am wrong, I am disappointed in the powers mayors can possess. Now, what I think is the thing with this is that everything is just corrupt in Gotham. There's, like, really friggin' badly corrupt, and so Harvey's able to get away with it just because he has enough sway with enough bad people, you know? Um... I don't think the mayors actually can do that, I just think that he specifically, in specifically Gotham, was able to because of all the corruption. But, yeah. So Vicky Vale is definitely Lady Arkham at this point, she is actually the one who's been pulling the strings, and um, she's the one who actually fought us, and so that means that she must have some sort of martial background, you know? She can't just be a reporter and then a mastermind in the background, no, she has to have some fighting experience, because Batman would not have, like, struggled against her otherwise. Again, even even with like the magnetic staff, or even the times where she didn't use that against him, and magnetic, you know, I'm using that kind of loosely, I don't remember exactly what it was based off of, but I think polarization, anyway. Um, even without that, he struggled against her in hand-to-hand, -hand, at least a little bit. And so, if it is, you know, I mean, it is Vicky Vale, so she just must have had some sort of fighting background, otherwise, I have complaints about that, because Bruce is a ninja who does this, and has been doing this for a long time now. Right? 
He didn't newly start, did he? I don't think he did. Um, I get some of the games mixed up between, like, Origins and this, like, where he actually was new. I mean, Origins, he was new, because it's called Origins, right? Anyway, with this one, I um, mean, yeah, really cool to see Joker. I'm surprised they had him in this game. I don't think he's going to play a huge part. Like, I don't think that he is going to be, like, a key figure in Episode 5, but I could be wrong. What I think it is, is just setting up a character for a potential Telltale sequel kind of thing. Which I'm down for, you know, I've enjoyed this game overall, even though I find that there's a lot to complain about. I feel like for the most part that's due, again, to just the corruption of the city. And how I think like, oh, this wouldn't work out, but that's just because everyone in Gotham sucks. Everyone in Gotham sucks, it's pretty much, it's pretty much safe to say. I mean, you have your few good people, like Bruce and Alfred and Gordon and Lucius. And then most everyone else sucks. That's just how it is. Um, so... Yeah, but Vicky, ah, she tore her parents apart. Um, I, I personally was happy with how the scene with the kid went down. Um, partly based upon the choices I made and partly upon, like, how... Because, you know, when you pick a choice, you don't know exactly how it's going to go or how even, you know, Bruce is going to deliver the line or whatever. So I was happy with how the actions actually, like, carried out. And um, I, I liked having it be like, you know, you saved Batman. Regardless of what happens from here on out, that will always remain true. I thought that was cool. And just the kid, you know, is nice. It's just nice to be, you know, be a hero for once. Because as Batman in this game, no one likes you. And as Bruce in this game, no one likes you. Except like Selena Kyle, you know. So it, it was cool to have that, you know, moment with the kid. Poor kid, traumatized little kid, but yeah. Um, aside from that, this episode's ending didn't seem as climactic to me as like previous episodes. Uh, which which was surprising to me just because this is episode 4 leading up to the last episode of this game But um, maybe it just wasn't as climactic to me. I mean Batman losing access to his tech is a big deal I just know that Batman can do a lot even without it and it didn't seem like as Climactic I guess I mean even though the stuff that happened is pretty crucial Maybe just like kind of the, the framing of the scenes and the impact that they seem to have didn't seem as big it's like the last one where he was drugged and then, you know, attacked someone in this drug-induced haze frenzy kind of thing. Um, but yeah. I am glad that I went to the manor instead, you know, like Wayne Estate, instead of going to Wayne Enterprises. Like, I am curious to see, or I'm curious as to how that would have gone down, if we would have gone up and actually fought Cobblepot, how we would have gone up, I assume as Batman, because Bruce has no sway in that anymore. Um, but just what exactly would have happened, you know, I'm not sure about. But um, I'm, I definitely don't regret it. You know, I'm glad that we went to the estate. I'm glad we got to help Alfred. And I'm glad Alfred helped us. Like, him shooting twice, that was pretty cool. Um, I liked that fight, too. And so, you know, with the quick time actions, like, there were a lot of... You had to do a lot. Um, and in pretty, pretty fast-paced. And not that I want to constantly be, like, rushed or anything, but I thought that given what that situation was, it called for that kind of, you know, fast-paced action. And so, um, it... It just felt better in that moment where it's like, I'm actually doing something, this is actually an urgent moment, and uh, yeah, Batman's kicking butt, and if I miss something, then Batman might die, you know? Unlike when we were fighting the big bluish dude on the stage, um, where I died, like the only time I died for a quick time event in this game, like that one, I, it didn't seem as urgent to me, really. I mean, like, it was definitely a bad thing, but when I died, I did not expect to have, like that I would have had to move that quickly. Which, you know, could have just been me underestimating it, but still. Like, here, it felt more necessary, even if it wasn't. You know what I mean? Just that kind of thing. So, yeah. As for what's gonna happen next time, well, it's the last episode, as far as I'm aware, so we have to... Actually, we don't have to. I was gonna say, we have to fix the Cobblepot situation with Wayne Enterprises. We have to, you know, like, bring Bruce's name back from the dead, essentially. Uh, we have to stop Lady Arkham and the Children of Arkham. Um, but we don't necessarily have to do all of that. Like, if there are going to be sequel games, really all we have to do is stop Lady Arkham. Which I think a big part of that will be stopping Cobblepot, considering Cobblepot is working with Lady Arkham, and Cobblepot's now, like, kind of in control of our tech. Like, he's not, he stopped us from using it. Um, but we definitely don't have to bring back the Wayne name yet. Yeah. I guess another thing I'm curious about is, is Vicky Vale ever in the comics actually a bad person because i you know from my limited knowledge of batman had always considered her and gordon to be like the solid good people you know and so having her be like the main baddie of this game is definitely a surprise 
Um, like, I, I'm not gonna say I dislike it, I'm not gonna say I like it either, because I do have the questions of, like, how is she actually physically capable of doing all this stuff, and that kind of thing. But yeah, I'm curious if she's actually like that in a canon Batman origin story or something like that, so, yeah. I mean, if you know, feel free, to, feel free to let me know in the comments, but you should probably check the comments a little bit too to make sure that not everybody is telling me the same thing. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you guys thought about it overall in the comments below, whether you liked it, whether you disliked it, what you thought about this or that, etc., and so on and so forth. And, um, yeah, I will see you just, you know, right after, I guess, because by the time you're finished watching this episode, or this video, um, episode 5 will already be out, so I'll have already played it, but yeah. I guess that's it, alright. So with that, we're calling it here. Cue outro, go!